O'Halloran sisters, Annie, Anuria, and Sarah, who armed themselves with boiling water to fight off bailiffs trying to evict their family during the Irish Land War. Their brother Frank provided a first-hand account of the day in the Irish Times on June 15, 1887. On the morning of the eviction, we were up at the break of day and laid our plans, each to defend a certain point and none to waver, whatever might come. We boiled plenty of water and meal, and, when all was ready, we kept a lookout for the bailiffs and the rest of them. At this time I was only home a few months from America, and during my absence, I may add, I did not learn to love Irish landlordism or English rule. I remember that, as they raised their rifles, the thought struck me that it was a queer country where the sons of people were amongst the greatest enemies the people had. The bailiffs attacked the corner, and the sisters threw cans of boiling water on top of them, making them speedily retire. For about three quarters of an hour, the struggle continued, and finally, the defeated emergency men gave up, some of them well scalded. Then they went to the end of the house, and the police got scaling ladders to get through the window on the second story. At this time some unfortunate delay occurred about handing up the water. My brother went to see what was wrong, and while he was so engaged a policeman entered through the window. He was met by Anuria who caught a grasp of his sword bayonet. He was just bent down in the act of jerking it from her when I saw him. I knew that if he gave the pull he would have cut her fingers off and ruin her hands. There was not a moment to spare. I jumped off the platform and struck him with my clenched fist under the chin and sent him sprawling to the other end of the room. My sister was then in full possession of a rifle, bayonet, and all, and sure she did use it. She rushed to the window and scattered the police outside right and left. My brother had now returned with the water, and I went to Honoria's assistance.